The Green New Deal continually gets shut down by Republicans, but pushed to the floor by progressive Democrats persistent on writing policies that will actually affect the everyday American. This policy has been labeled everything from socialism to something that is going to take away our ice cream by Republicans and conservatives alike who, who stand together to hold up anything progressive. So today we're going to touch on some of the goals of these progressive minded members of the House and and, and what's actually included in such a legislator, not the nonsense spewed by those who are against it, and, and the actual multitude of the Green New Deal bills that we're seeing introduced today. This vision is becoming a reality. Watch us win. We have started to win. Together, we've introduced the Green New Deal for cities, the Green New Deal for public schools, and the Green New Deal for public housing, just to name a few. We have highlighted... We have highlighted important issues ranging from education to renewable agriculture to show that a better way is possible. Together, these bills not only stop climate change, they tackle the intersecting crises of climate, economic inequality, and racial justice. This is, I believe, the fourth year of them introducing the bill, and every year it's gained more and more endorsement and traction from those on the left. Now they have notable members such as Bernie and other people in the Senate and House supporting, endorsing, and adding to the bill, which has caused it to really grow into something beautiful. When it was first announced, it was considered something more on the radical left and there was disdain and split even among the left about the bill but what was introduced in that original bill is a lot of what we see in the Inflation Reduction Act today which focused on fighting climate change by creating good clean jobs but it fell short of racial injustice, supporting sustainable and affordable housing for neighborhoods affected by pollution and such things, building a robust care economy, improving public transportation and those who have less access to it, and investing in American education and schools as a whole, which the Green New Deal as a whole hopes to tackle among its 10 or so new little bills that are being introduced, uh, such as the Green New Deal for Health, which Senator Markey and Representative Ro Khanna teamed up to write this legislator that will enable U.S. healthcare to respond to climate change in different ways and things like the pandemic with, with such like support for patients, providers, and communities. This is is a huge part of these 10 bills we're seeing as they all tie in together to kind of resolute this big Green New Deal resolution as one. Now I am going to do a video on redlining very very soon that will touch on how people of color specifically and and as a whole under resourced groups have been directly affected by these corporations and pollution namely like lead pollution in the 70s uh, by by means even extra legal or legal in terms of redlining where neighborhoods with people of color were labeled red and denied insurance uh, economic support and different things that kept these being lower income neighborhoods and closer to such things like pollution and also led to nicer neighborhoods with insurance that were labeled green keeping people of color from entering those neighborhoods as they feared to being rated red and being snipped off from the resources that they were seeing so people of color people in under resourced groups were forced into these neighborhoods where pollution were at the highest this bill also addresses public transportation not only the pollution it causes us and ways to tackle it and make it cleaner and more sustainable but socializing it to be more accessible and available to everyone this would tackle one of the main facets we still see of systemic racism existing in society today and also affecting those in poverty or in the lower class as they generally have less access to these means of transportation thus less access to education or higher paying jobs and things that those with this these higher quality and more access to transportation are available to have you know you can sing and dance like Beyonce but if your mom has a beat up van and your dad's working two jobs and you can't get to that music audition you may never be as successful as Beyonce was you know 
this would have us rejoining the Paris Accord also, which it was a terrible decision for us to leave. We should have never done it. Donald Trump did it solely to feed into the wants and needs of big oil to line his pockets and other corporations. The Green New Deal is really just a few ways that that progressives want to go above and beyond the Inflation Act, the other ways that conservatives plan to actually help the average everyday American. And it's it's policies exactly like these progressive tax policies that will make America a livable place for not only the everyday American, but those who are currently living in a state of poverty. Like I said, over the next few days, I'm going to be covering the specifics of these 10 bills. I'm going to be starting with the Green New Deal for public housing. Probably we'll see that tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, you can always check back to this once you, maybe you've seen those to see how they all tie in together. But I'm really excited for the progressive members in our government, which seems to be growing and growing in numbers. And I'm excited for bills like this to be brought to the floor in a light where they won't instantly be rejected. If you enjoyed this video, we are Social Society. We're a commentary channel based on politics, the society, and even the economy. We get a touch bit philosophical and like to touch on the psychology of things even from time to time. We're a bit left-leaning here, but we're open to our right-wing opinions. Our biggest thing is having conversations and getting to the bottom of the truth because the only way that we become a society is together. If that sounds like something that interests you, consider smashing the subscribe button, leaving us a like, or commenting on this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.